Hey YouTube, 3D Printed Life here. First of all, I apologize for the noise. Um, I'm printing honeycomb infill for the first, well, second time, and it's quite loud. Anyway, this is going to be a sort of first impressions, quick review of the E3D V6 uh, hot end, and holy crap, it's amazing. I'm not kidding. Um, it is definitely worth the uh, about 80 American dollars it will cost to buy straight from E3D. Uh, you could probably get V5 from elsewhere for cheaper, uh, but I just got the most recent version, figured if I'm going to get the best, I might as well get the newest of the best. But anyway, let me just talk quickly about it. First of all, as you can see, I'm running with no fan blowing on the print. The only fan I have is the fan blowing on the hot end itself, which of course is doing its job and keeping the nice this top part of the hot end nice and cool. Um, now, first of all, it heats up about three times quicker than my old Anubis hot end. It takes about a minute to reach 200 Celsius from being completely off. It extrudes, it can extrude very, very, very fast. I don't have an exact speed for you, um, but if you use the new versions of Repetier, there is a slow extrusion and a fast extrusion speed. It can almost handle that fast extrusion speed. Um, and that's, it's like insanely fast extrusion. So um, it's actually really, really good with that. It extrudes, um, <laughs> sorry, extrudes nice, uh, smooth, very, very full lines. Uh, with my old Anubis, I was experiencing times where it would just kind of half clog up, and it would uh, extrude some very stringy lines. But no, everything that this prints is nice and smooth, and it's very full. Um, that's really the only way I know how to describe it. Uh, let me see, I have pieces that were done. That's actually, it's still printing. Um, obviously, there's still a tiny bit of banding, but that's my printer's fault, not the hot end's fault. Um, but this piece is ridiculously solid. I mean, it's it's stronger than anything I've ever printed before. And um, I'm just really, really impressed with it. Uh, as you can see, everything looks nice. Even this part where it, it prints um, overhang. This is all overhang because it prints this side down. There was like one dangling strand that I had to pull out, and that was it. Uh, on top of that... In there, it bridged. Can you tell where it bridged? I didn't clean this up at all. And remember, I don't have a fan blowing on the print area. And you can't see where it bridged. It's this this top part in here, that was bridged. But you honestly, you can't tell. There's no dangling strands that are hanging lower than where they should be. And it just comes out so nice. I mean, it just bridged here and I actually just watched it go. It's hard to get a good angle, but, I mean, look at that. It's amazing. And I don't even have a fan on it. If I had a fan on it, I could probably bridge, like, 200 millimeters, no problem. Um, yes, and on top of all that, because it can extrude faster, that means I can print faster. Uh, and I am hitting the upper limits of the hardware of my printer. I have to replace these two pieces, which are the ones that I am printing, and I'll be able to print even faster without any uh, whip or backlash because these have to be printed at a higher infill, like as these are 50% honeycomb. But anyway, yeah, that's really it. I mean, I've heard so much about this hot end, and I figured it was good, but I didn't think it was as good as everybody was saying. But it really is. Um, I don't think there is anything out there that can beat this, especially not for the price. Uh, I know there's a Pico all-metal hot end for somewhere around the same price, but I've heard that it is not nearly as good. So if you are looking for a new hot end or if you're building a printer and you uh, just need a hot end, a good one, I highly recommend the E3D V6 if you can. If not, I'm sure all the other ones are pretty good too. Uh, I haven't had any jamming issues, no filament uh, or extrusion gaps, no really no air bubbles, no nothing. It's just amazing. It's so easy to work with. And it prints so nicely. There it goes again. And that's it. Um, it's kind of hard to see on camera just because it's not too bright. But it's printing really, really, really nicely. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I will probably be doing a sort of full review of this hot end at some later point. Um, but for now, this will be it. Probably for the next month or two, possibly forever. I don't know. Um, but anyway, final thoughts. It's an amazing hot end. It does require some assembly. Uh, not very much. It takes about an hour to put it together from being completely disassembled. 
and it does ship from England, so it will take uh, about 7 to 10 days to get to you in America. I don't know about elsewhere, but I would assume similar times if custom doesn't, Customs doesn't delay it. But in all actuality, it is the best money I have spent so far. I, I would argue that the, improve, or the upgrade from the Anubis to the E3D hotend was better than the upgrade from the 2-up to my whole 3-up system. So, yeah, it's, it's really, really good. Um, I highly recommend it no matter what printer you're running. So I will stop raving now. <laughs> Thank you all for watching this. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions for me or for anybody else who owns an E3D, please leave a comment below and I'm sure I or somebody else will respond as quickly as possible. Things to note, it is pretty short and well, that's really all you have to know about it. Oh, and this fan bracket will jut out a bit. So you have to make sure you can accommodate for that. But if you can, you will be fine. So that is it. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you later.